Hi children, today we are going to start our geography chapter, third chapter, rotation and revolution. So our chapter name is rotation and revolution. In this chapter, we will study about what is rotation and what is revolution and what are the effects of rotation and revolution. First, we will start with the rotation. So what is rotation? Earth moves its own axis is known as rotation. So what is rotation? Earth moves its own axis is known as rotation. In another words, we can tell the circular motion of the earth. The circular motion of the earth on its tilted axis from west to east is called rotation. So what is rotation? Rotation means The circular motion, okay, circular motion of the earth, earth in its tilted axis, in its tilted axis from west to east is called the rotation. In simple way, we can tell earth moves its own axis is known as rotation. Okay, so you can study this definition. So what is rotation? Rotation is the circular motion of the earth in its tilted axis from west to east is known as rotation. Okay, for completing one rotation, earth will take 24 hours. So for completing one rotation, earth will take 24 hours or one day 24 hours or one day okay so for completing one rotation earth will take 24 hours or one day okay anyway earth spins like a top at the speed of 1670 per kilometer so what about the speed of earth rotation 1670 kilometer per hour Day and nights are the effects of rotation. So what is the result of rotation? Day and night. Day and nights are the result. Days and day and night. Days and nights are the result of rotation. Okay. So what do you learn now about rotation? Earth moves its own axis is known as rotation. Otherwise, the circular motion of the earth in its tilted axis from west to east is called rotation for completing one rotation earth will take 24 hours or one day and day days and nights are the result of rotation i think you got then speed i told you 1670 kilometer per However, that so ma'am taught you in last chapter the earth due to the tiltness of the earth all the portion of the earth is not getting sunlight equally so ma'am will show you through a picture so you can see children just imagine this is sun okay okay so this is our earth so ma'am told you this is axis, axis will connect from north pole to south pole. So children due to the tiltness of the earth, ma'am told you there is a tiltness to our earth. Due to this tiltness you know all the portion of the earth is not getting sunshine equally. So you can see children sunshine getting means then one portion of the uh, earth will get sunshine. Okay one portion will get sunshine and another portion won't get it. so the portion getting sun rotating time which portion get sun sun uh, rays or sunshine that portion it will be day okay and the opposite direction will be night that you know the portion where sunrise getting that area it will that portion will be day and the opposite portion will be night so you can see when the sunshine and sunshine fall you can see here one line okay here ma'am draw one line this line is divide the day from night. Ok, 
clear so sunshine is getting that ma'am told so here one portion will be day and opposite portion won't get sun uh, sunrise rotating time okay so the opposite portion will be night and the portion getting sunrise will be day so the here we you can see one line ma'am draw now one line so here this portion will be day and this portion will be night ma'am told so the line that divide the day from night that is known as the line of illumination the line of illumination okay so what is line of illumination the shadow okay the shadow we can tell shadow or line that divide the day from night that is known as line of illumination is it clear children okay so earth rotation earth earth rotate in anti clockwise so what about the earth rotation earth will rotate in anti clockwise no, not clockwise okay not clockwise it will rotate in anti clockwise earth will rotate in anti clockwise so sunrise in the east and sunset in the west that you know in where the sunrise sunrise in the east and the sunset in the west because our rotation is anti clockwise i think it is clear to you when the sun shines directly overhead or its rays are perpendicular at a place means it will be midday or noon so what i told children when the sun rays or sunshine directly overhead or its rays are perpendicular at a place means it will be midday or 12 noon it will be midday or 12 noon from this position onwards the rays of the sun begin to get slanted from this position onwards what will happen the sun rays get slanted and in few hours you know it will be evening so what i told children when the sun rays perpendicular at a place means it will be midday or noon after that what will happen from this position onwards what will happen to the rays the sun rays begin to get slanted and it in few minute it will be few hours within few hours it will be evening okay the last rays of the sun fade away below the horizon there is dusk dusk means sunset so what i told children the last rays of the sun fade away below the horizon then the, there is dusk dusk means sunset dusk means sunset so when the last rays of the sun that fade away in the horizon then it will be dusk or sunset so below the horizon sunset below the horizon we experiences darkness that is called night so the sunset below the horizon what will happen we experiences darkness that is known as night okay the first sunrise begin to emerge from the beneath the horizon then there is dawn dawn means sunrise dawn dawn means sunrise so what i told children the last sunrise fade away below the horizon then there will be dusk or there is sunset that is called night there will be darkness that is called night then ma'am told the first sunrise of sun that is begin to emerge from beneath the horizon then there will be dawn dawn means sunrise sunrise or it will be morning so ma'am told now ma'am told about dusk and dawn that term don't forget dusk means sunset dawn means sunrise okay so don't be confused so ma'am told you what is rotation earth moon its own axis that is called rotation so what will be revolution while rotating time earth move around the sun okay earth will move its own axis at same time what we will do it will move around the sun okay that is known as revolution so what is revolution earth move its own axis that is called rotation while rotating time it will move around the sun is called revolution okay so earth will take 365 days and 6 hours for completing one revolution okay so uh, what is uh, how much time earth will take for completing one revolution 365 days and 6 hours or we can tell it is one year earth will take one year for completing one revolution so earth will move around the sun while rotating time it will move around the sun that is called a revolution move around the sun 
okay in a fixed path that is known as revolution it will take 365 days and 6 hours for completing one revolution okay so ma'am told you days and days and nights are the result of rotation and earth will take 24 hours for completing ro one rotation in the same way i told you 365 days and 6 hours earth will take for completing one revolution or one year and then what will be the result of revolution seasons okay seasons are the result of revolution so day and nights are the result of rotation seasons are the result of revolution okay i think children you got anyway ma'am told you earth will take 365 days and 6 hours for completing one rotation so children the 6 hours uh, one calendar year it has 365 days so one calendar year equal to 365 days okay so what i told one calendar year has 365 days so all the six hours of four consecutive years it will be added and it for making one full day okay so this extra day will be added on in the month of february in the month of february every four year okay after every four year in the month of february this day this uh, extra day is added in that day in that year that month february there will be 29 days so you know always in february 28 days are there so in the in, the, in that ma'am told no uh, all the four uh, six hours that consecutive years it will be added for making one day and uh, this extra day is added in the month of february in every four year so that year there will be 29 days okay so that that year is known as leap year so what is leap year uh, that year ma'am told no that year instead of 365 days there will be 366 days that days are that year is called a leap year okay so the year that has 366 days is known as leap year in that february there will be 29 days so what is leap year the year okay the year that has 366 days okay it is called leap year okay so now you know it is 2021 2024 it will be leap year every four four years this six hours will be added and that uh, for that fourth year what will happen in february 29 days will be the that year is known as leap year i think you understood okay so today we mainly studied about rotation and revolution what are the result of rotation and revolution and ma'am taught you about leap year i think today's topic is clear to you if you have any doubt ask me we will meet in the next class